What's happening guys, it's Bharat Nagpal for again, right? and today we are checking out the new Samsung Galaxy Mega. Now this is a 5.8 inch smartphone that has been launched by Samsung in India. Priced at 25,900 rupees. Let's take a look at what's inside the box and then we'll do a quick hands on with the device. Standard set of packaging from Samsung, you have the specs on the box at the back. The first thing inside the box is the Galaxy Mega itself, the Mega 5.8. Let's put that aside and take a look at the rest of the box contents. In the box of the Galaxy Mega 5.8, you'll get a quick start guide, a 2600 mAh battery, the USB charging cable, the in-ear earphones along with the extra ear tips and the standard wall charger. So on the front of the device is a front facing 1.9 megapixel camera along with a couple of sensors and the earpiece. The display is a 5.8 inch 540 by 960 pixel display which gives it a total 190 pixels per inch. On the right of the device is the main power lock and unlock button. On the top is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the left is the volume rocker and on the bottom is the micro USB charging data syncing port along with the main microphone. On the back of the device is the nice Samsung logo along with an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and the speakerphone. Remove the back panel and you'll be able to see the two SIM card slots. Uh, both of these are micro SIM card slots and they are uh, not hot swappable so you need to remove the battery to change the SIM card. You'll also see on the side a micro SD card slot that supports 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Pop the back cover back on and power on the device. Initially it appears to be dark when uh, you'll see that there is a black layer on the front screen protector. Now Samsung has integrated the same interface seen on the Galaxy S4 so you have the new style of lock screen. Unlock the device, pull down from the top, quickly jump into settings. You'll see the new style settings panel, jump into about device and you'll see that this device is running Android 4.2.2 out of the box. So you get the latest version along with the latest version of TouchWiz, you can see uh, that you have lots of customizations. So you have blocking mode, driving mode. Uh, you also have power savings, one-handed operation because this is a large device. So I'm going to turn that on. And uh, you also have motions and gestures and you also have smart state. You can also access uh, quick toggles on the right so you can decide what all toggles you want to show in the notification panel. You can also customize them to your requirement. Pinch out and you'll see the standard Android interface seen usually on Samsung devices. So you see all your dashboards in one place. You get up to seven home screens. So you can customize them by adding widgets or changing the background wallpaper, etc. You can also remove a home screen if you do not need it. Jump into the dialer, you'll see a standard dialer. You do see one handed operation on the keyboard. So swipe to the left or swipe to the right, depending on what hand you're using it with. Let's quickly open up the internet browser. I'm going to show you what the internet browser looks like. Load up iCan.in. I'll show you what the display looks like on the device. Despite the fact that it is a slightly low resolution display, you don't really notice uh, the lack of pixels. Uh, the screen is really nice and vivid and the colors really pop out. So you will not really notice uh, the lack of uh, pixels unless you're doing really high quality uh, picture work or zooming into images a lot. If you look at the keyboard, you have standard keyboard settings in uh, the settings panel. Uh, you get a standard Samsung keyboard which you can pull out horizontally as well. It stretches out the keyboard. You do get several other options including handwriting etc. Uh, which is a standard Samsung keyboard. Look at the browser. The browser is fairly fluid. It loads up all sorts of websites without any issues. Initial impressions of the browser shows a little bit of lag while shifting from portrait into landscape and vice versa. Uh, but once it picks up, it seems to be fairly smooth. Now you get a standard set of applications, uh, including some Samsung applications like Paper Artist, uh, which allows you to convert your images into sort of canvas style feel uh, effects. And you can also make memos in the standard S memo applications. But unlike the Galaxy Note series uh, in the Mega, uh, you just have to use your hands. You do get the same style of pen and you can also add in text input. If you get bored of text input, 
uh, you can also use uh, your hand or your finger to put in handwriting into the device and it does a fairly decent job of converting even bad handwriting into text. Hold down on the home button you get the standard task manager but tap on the bottom left button and you get the Samsung task manager. You can look into your active applications, uh, the RAM usage, the storage usage and uh, quit applications consuming RAM. You also get a standard Samsung apps store which gives you the hot picks and uh, latest applications. If you look at the camera app you'll see the same camera app that you saw on the Samsung Galaxy camera or even on the Galaxy S4. So the camera app has been ported onto the Galaxy Mega uh, which makes it pretty awesome uh, considering the camera is pretty decent. In the apps drawer uh, you can tap on the top right button to look at your downloaded apps or tap on widgets to look at widgets. You can simply pick and drop a widget into the home screen. Uh, you can also use motion to switch from home screen to home screen uh, like you could even on the S2 it has been integrated into the Galaxy Mega. If you're using Flipboard just go into the search panel search for iGAN's uh, magazine and subscribe to it so that you get all the latest updates from uh, iGAN directly on your device and it doesn't have to be a Samsung device. The same app that we saw on the Galaxy S4 uh, you get all the latest information directly on the screen and you get sort of animations as well in the background uh, in case uh, the weather is active. You also get S Travel which gives you recommendations for uh, traveling. Again all these apps are pretty standard for Samsung and uh, nothing special for the Galaxy Mega. Let me quickly play a YouTube video for you guys uh, before we conclude this quick hands-on video. Now in front of the Galaxy Mega 5.8, the Samsung Galaxy S4 seems quite dwarfed. Uh, you can see the comparison of the screen sizes. It's pretty tiny in front of that. You do have a 0.8 inch uh, difference between both the devices. Uh, overall size has also considerably changed uh, in terms of uh, thickness. Of the Galaxy Mega is also fairly thicker uh, than the Galaxy S4. So there you go guys, this was a quick unboxing and hands-on with the new Galaxy Mega 5.8. If you have any questions or queries, do drop them in the comment section below. Stay tuned for our gaming benchmarks and the full review video along with the camera review uh, coming up shortly. Do check out iGAN.in, catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. For iGAN Networks, this has been Bharat Thank you guys for watching.